What's up, Internet? My name is Bobby. I am one third of the Casual Hour, and if you give me about 15 minutes for a quick look at Lightyear Frontier, I'll help you decide if this game is worth your time or not. This game came out on March 19th, 2024. It is currently on the Xbox One, the personal computer, and the Xbox Series X. Uh, I am playing this today via Game Pass, which is great. Uh, if you are not one of those sickos like me that subscribes in the Game Pass, you can pick this up for a slick $25. If you're unfamiliar with what this game is, uh, at its core, it is a cozy farm simulator that you get to play in a kick-ass mech. It is a laid-back game. This is 100% just you vibing out farming. There are some elemental things that you need to come to grips with that could you know kill your crops and the whole premise of the game is you are trying to clear out this poison i don't quite remember what the name of it is like i think noxious maybe um if i remember correctly that has hit these you know the edge cliffs the lowland plains stepstone peak mountainside coast and the yellow forest pine heights you can set up a base which i have a very early game base hit right now that you'll be farming upgrading it's one of those things like it's not quite you know punch trees build shit but it's not far off from that uh there are seeds that you'll be picking up and you'll be finding other resources materials to expand your outpost and do more things but but you can play this with a friend up to four of them if you want to and you can get out of your mech and admire your really cool farm mech that you can upgrade buy new parts for swap them out and I will show you how that all plays out right now. So on your base, you're gonna build one of these platforms that lets you go into your upgrade depot. And from there, you can have all these skills for farming and gathering and traversal, the mech customization, you can get, uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. There's six parts that make up a full mech. They don't have to match. You can mix and match these as you choose. You can also come in here and paint if you wanna do that. So you can paint different parts. And if I wanted to grab a part off of my mech I could do so just like that and now we have the option to swap these out and put them back into it pretty straightforward if you just get it close enough it'll drop and pop right there and as you can see I've built a merchant outpost that will allow you to buy and sell shit here so I could buy seeds I could buy a grimy hot rod leg which is exactly what my leg is uh, they also have elements that you can pick up to just change the way that your place looks What's nice about these, they can actually enhance your resting and that will get you some more boost when you're out there during the day. There is a day-night cycle, just like any of these other farm games. And with that, you're gonna find uh, creatures, critters, all kinds of stuff that's available within it. So um, inside your mech, you have a handful of tools that you can choose from. You have a spike saw, you have a vacuum harvester, you have an irrigation hose, a a seed shooter and a sprout cannon. Um, I know that we probably need to water some of our, our plants over here that I've got set up. Oh shit, did not mean to get out, whoops. So when you get into your mech, uh, you'll notice you can just cycle through and I can start to water. Uh, as you see here, it'll get darker. I've unlocked an upgrade that lets me hold down uh, my secondary option. And then I can just do a giant hit so this actually speeds up quite a bit the upkeep of your place i don't know if they're gonna like add automation where you can get like a sprinkler system uh because like even about what i'm what i'm about to do here which is refill our water that we just ran out of during this recording you need to get the vacuum out and then you're gonna suck up the water and i've i've added uh a, I, I like doubled the amount of water that i can carry um there is a little bit of a hover function that you just saw there so I need to water. Oh, I don't need to suck that in yet. Uh, there we go. So let's water this plant here and I will set this one up to do that. So I think we're good for now. Um, I've got a few other things that you can grab over here. There's a fodder oven here. This is where you can make uh, basic, nice, sweet fodder. And that's how you feed the wildlife. When you do that, you're gonna get more boosts on your playthrough. Oils play a big role in some of your upgrades, and this is the machine that we use to do that. I've actually got two of those set up because, again, oil is very important. 
Assemblers, as you can imagine, very important as well. Here's where I can make clay, aluminum frames, electronics, etc. And then I have storage crates, which are pretty full right now. And lastly, a flower press, which is where I can make paint. So if I wanted to customize a part of our mech to be, I don't know, white. Uh, we have a minute cooldown, so that white paint is getting made. I can come over here and grab uh, a red crystal dust. And this is a grinder that will make other items that we can use. That being said, I think this game's gorgeous. I think it's a very well uh, designed game, especially for being early access. And the biggest thing that we're looking to do right now is head into areas, find new resources, and then help clear out certain parts. So if I went down to the lowland plains, I'm just gonna, let's see here, drop a pin, and we're gonna start heading over this way. You're gonna find that it's like, okay, hey, cool. You need to get a level two saw spike, which I, don't know if I have that yet or not. Um, I will show you how it works, though, if I want to bust up this rock. So now that's just essentially picking that up. I can also get out and come over here. And you're going to notice I can't pick things up. I could grab them and bring them over to my mech. But you are far less strong uh, compared to your mech. But you can still get the job done. So I can grab these. I won't be able to put them in my inventory, but I can at least bring it back to my mech. And that's pretty important. Because there are going to be rooms and things like that that you might have to explore where your mech won't fit. So you're going to have to find a way to bring stuff back um, to keep to keep things going. So I, uh, out of the casual hour, I would say I'm the biggest sicko when it comes to these types of video games. I, I can't help myself. I don't care how many of these I've played. I, I just will always check them out. I, I think it started probably back with Harvest Moon back in the... Mid, mid to late 90s and as I've gotten older I think there's just something about checking boxes like I don't have I mean I have more time than most people for games like it's a pretty big part of my life but I think there's something to be said about feeling like you're making progress in a game when you have limited time in your adult life to play them in a game like this it's very simple it's like okay I know tonight I need to go and find rock I need to find aluminum uh, I want to expand into this one region, and to get there, I need to have an upgrade to my weapon. So you, you kind of build these check systems where you can you can gauge: Am I successful? Am I am I moving the needle? And I think farming games are really great about doing these types of things, where it'll help you kind of guide your way through it. It gives you some mile markers. It'll even help us, like over in the upper left hand corner, restore the lowlands, restore the stepstone, yellow forest, etc. And that's going to require you to upgrade your gear. So naturally you'll have to figure out like, okay, how do I upgrade my gear? Well, you'll you'll go back to the base that we had, you'll hop on the depot, you'll check and see what the skill tree looks like. And from there, you'll be able to just see like, great, I need to go get this thing. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like here in a moment. So we're still in our edge cliffs. We're making our way over here to the lowlands. Again, I think this game just looks so good. I've only played it briefly with a friend and you can invite anybody into your world and when they're in here they can they can use your resources for upgrades so it really becomes more of this like community driven hey we're all contributing we're all growing we're going to help each other out and i think this is a very like if i had friends who wanted to play these types of games with me i could see it a great way to catch up with one another i could see it being a situation where it's it's very low uh, concern on competing for resources like everybody gets a little bit of it here so as we come up to this one the vacuum harvester upgrade is is required as you can see i'm not i'm not getting anywhere with this nothing there so i know we need to upgrade i don't think i can show that here um no that's not in our journal inventory database yeah, so I'll have to go back and show you what that looks like. But I wanted to also call out this up here. Um, this is like a little nest. I've seen a few different styles. So when we come up to it, it's going to say, uh, well, traditionally it'll say like, hey, you need to give give something. But for whatever reason, that one's that one's not doing it. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we can find another one. But I'm going to head back and see if we can get that vacuum upgrade really quick. And from there, we can... Uh, potentially come back here and start to clean this area up. It doesn't take a ton of time to do it. I found that uh, going into some of these areas, I've had to clean up puddles. I've had to 
you know, take down weeds, suck things up, and that'll help us get um, that. Basically, there's a door that we're trying to unlock with some sort of ancient tech on this planet that we've crashed onto. And if we get all of these areas restored, the door will unlock. And then I don't know if that's like in game or if that's just it. Um, I, I'm not quite sure. Again, this is an early access and I haven't seen a roadmap for it yet. So you can check it out in a game's preview mode on Xbox or early access on Steam for $25 right now. I think we're gonna get encumbered here. Let's see what happens. Yep, so we're, we're encumbered. My least favorite attribute in video games. But the good news is there's a lot of copper here and I'm getting to a point now where I need to use that. When you are encumbered, you can still move. Uh, I am moving slower right now. And the one other thing I wanna make sure that we're doing is heading in the right direction, which we are. Here's our location down here and we're moving up to the house. This is what uh, kind of the ancient tech looks like, that purple glowy stuff. You'll, you'll encounter these areas that you have to go and find artifacts. It's been pretty generic. Um, like, hey, there's eight artifacts in here. Bounce around and grab them. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Again, this is one of the most low effort, fucking don't worry about a thing. Just turn your mind off. Listen to some music, put a podcast on. Kind of reset and not have to worry too much about what's going on in the world. Uh, I, I think that there's a good time and place for it. I have found this to be a rather enjoyable palate cleanser and something that I can like start to unwind with at night, something that I can uh, just kick back. I've been playing a lot of really big, heady games, uh, not to date this episode too much. I mean, it's March 31st. I'm very much into Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm still kicking the can on Final Fantasy. Some really big, big, big heavy games. And sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Like, I'm not quite ready to go to bed yet, but I don't want to keep playing this. I'm going to catch up on an episode of a podcast I like and do a little farming. And, and that's just been an absolute treat. So I told you all we need to upgrade our, our vacuum. Let's see. Oh, there's our white paint. So maybe I'll, I'll do a little something with that for you, too. So now that we're here, let's check out this vacuum upgrade and see if we're close. Um, so I know that we need carrot oil. I've got the copper wire. I've got carrots growing. How much carrot juice can we make? Carrot oil, I should say. So we're making five there. I needed nine, I believe. Awesome. So let's upgrade that while we're hanging out here. And while that's going on, I've got some paint. And I think... Again, blue and white. Hello, that's the casual hour, right? Let's uh, let's do our center white. So now that's how easy it is to, to customize a paint. That's gonna be, huh? That's not bad. I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it that way. You know, not the not the wildest paint job, but for now it's pretty good. So we're gonna drop some stuff off in here. Again, these are weight based as well. You can carry up to 90, so we're over by 5.3. I'll drop some of this stuff off here and that will get us back into a good state. I found that seeds don't impact much. They're, they're very low weight when it comes to that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rest and let this become daytime and our stuff should be done. So this is the other piece here when you sleep. Because of the coziness of our cabin, if I were to increase the coziness, keen eye would go up and we have a chance to find additional resources. So I haven't unlocked that yet, um, but I can buy more things to put here. I haven't had the best economy yet. I'm not making a ton of money. As you can see, I'm day 20 in here and I've spent most of that just kind of exploring around. And that's your little bot helping you out. They're gonna be your, your voice of reasoning. This is the one thing I will say is stupid. So I. I can't pick this up. I mean, I could grab it, but that's not going to help us out here. So I'll, I'll grab these as well. Now they're closer, but I'm trying to upgrade my mech. I can't put that in my inventory. So when I enter in here, I'm just going to grab those. So now we've got the care root oil. I'm going to go back into upgrading the mech. We're going to come over here and get this vacuum upgrade. Um, and we should be able to get it now. So we're going to hold this down and pick that up. 
I can come in here and I've got most everything. Uh, let's see if I can go and make some ravage oil. Do I have enough of that right now? Yeah, let's make two of those. So I'll wait on this as well. We're gonna hop out and we're gonna upgrade our water hose. And then I should be able to go and hit like those tier two clean them up areas. So when that's done, we'll pick those up. But in the time being, let's be productive. I can grab more Ravage and Care Roots here. So we're gonna get our new and improved vacuum up. And I'm gonna start to suck all these uh, ripe, ready to, for the picking. We'll get some poly berries here. And this is perfect. I can show you the uh, planting mechanic, which is a lot of fun as well. So these are these ravages are still going, but when you harvest, you actually get some seeds as well. So if I go over here to our, uh, where's it at? Seed shooter. I can switch over using R or E here on keyboard and mouse. So I wanna plant some more ravage because I've got some growing here. And this is a good example of like, I can just shoot my gun into those three areas and get that. But maybe on this one here where I have a nine by nine grid, uh, I wanted to be able to go in here and I wanna plant some more of those care roots. So if I hold down, I start to target all those and then I can shoot once and just automatically fill in. So then we come back over here for our water, hold that down and we get most of everything ready to go there. So I'm gonna do the same thing, water all this, make sure it's good to go. We've got Ravage and Care Roots. Let's go ahead and plant some more of these poly berries. They're, they're kind of the starting seed. I, I have a need for them. I'm not gonna say as much as the other stuff right now, but just for the sake of getting this ready to go. We'll throw that down. Those are watered. Let's do another thing of Care Root here. And uh, yeah, I got plenty for that. So we'll hold this down. We've got those. And then how much Ravage did I have? Do I have nine? I have eight, damn it. Um, I guess we'll just do, we'll do eight. We'll do as many of these as we can. And then I'll water everything on this side. That's good. And then we'll get you as well. Cool, so we need to grab some more water. Look at that, we've got our two things of Ravage oil ready to go, so that means I can upgrade one more time. And then I come up here to do that. Oh, not that, there we go. And let's get this upgraded. This is our irrigation hose power. So now for farming and gathering, I've done all my level ones. There are things for path making that we could do where I could actually build paths with my mech, which sounds cool. My thruster boost is actually something I'm pretty interested in having, which requires power core, ravage oil. Uh, the other thing that you'll see is if we come over here and I go to any of my tools, so it'll tell you what you need to make it, what it requires. But if I come over here to something like the assembler, it's gonna show you, okay, cool, I wanna make clay. What's that used in? Oh, if I have clay, I can make a brick arch. I can make a furnace, a large plot, a well, a brick fence. So you know what? Let's make as much clay as we can right now. So that's gonna start making clay and that's immediate. So if I come up here and grab our mech, let me pick this up and let's see what the there's anything that we can sell or grab. So we've got clay. That's now gonna unlock all these things that we can make, which is really cool. Um, I don't need to buy those. What can we sell for an increase here? Ravage is going for a good amount of money. Is there anything that we have to have? There's a vintage hibiscus engine. That's not bad. Um, hot rod, ooh, that's a thousand. We can't afford it. So, I mean, it's not cheap, like things are pretty expensive. So I, I, I've been a bit gun shy on that. Um, all that to be said, I told you all we would go and attack. So we've, we've, we've gotten all of our stuff planted. Oh shit, that's perfect. This is so stupid, God damn it. Oh, he got up on his own. I think there was an update for the game because the storage in the, the chest, by the way, when this game launched was the same as you, I think it was 120. And when you topple your mech over, uh, you get this really, uh, <laughs> get out, flip them over. So what was the, I, hang on. I just realized I need to check something out here. 
there was a way to toggle the mode here move look up sprint interact switch perspective oh yeah you click in not like that there we go so you can go back and forth to third party and first party oh my gosh third person and first person not party jesus all right we're gonna head over there we're gonna see if that new vacuum will get some of those uh things cleared up and then we'll probably look to wrap this up so i don't know like I think the question starts to become, I already have one of these types of games. Bobby, what do I do? Well, fair, because I think that the same day that this game came out, 1.6, the huge update for Stardew Valley dropped, and they set all kinds of big records where it was the most concurrent players for that game. I think there's a pretty strong following for it. The game seems to be getting very positive reviews on Steam. I'm certainly having a good time with it. I, I think I'd like to see what the, the, the long-term plans are for a game like this. It's one of those where so far it seems very promising, but do, would, would combat be a good thing? Like, should there be a little bit more risk to it? So let's see if this works. Ah, okay. So our vacuum cleaner upgrade, still not, still not strong enough for these. Damn. Oh, well, we'll grab a little bit more of this and uh, I'll kind of talk about what we do here on the show. So I think that you, you can see the loop here. There's there's stuff to upgrade and build. I didn't go into that menu. So let me let me show that off here. Um, this is a furnace smelts materials to create new resources. I don't have enough to get that one, but you can also these are the things that you can get to make life easier around your farm and to give you some better resources for it. Um, I started off with a small tent. We went up to a small cabin. These are the enhancements that I can get. So a strange vase, I can put a birdhouse out, this gnome that is gonna help with the coziness factor. There's also clotheslines. I got one of those up, a wash bin. I don't think I put a log rack out yet. Um, we've got new fencing that we can put up. We've got campfires and torches. We can also put some plants down. So there's some things that you can do to really make this like look like a farm that you would be proud of, that you wanna spend time in. I think there's a lot to be to be said about this. It seems like a fun time. Uh, it's it's very much one of these games, so you'll know right away if this is worth your time, and that's what the point of these quick looks are. With with costs going down on things and more subscription services out there, here at the Casual Hour, we started to measure things about is this worth my time? Because we are all mid thirties to late thirties, and our lives are very complicated compared to where they were when we first started playing video games so the timing like is it worth your time for me absolutely this is such an enjoyable use of my time somebody like chase on our show absolutely not worth his time he would not have a good time with this and i respect that but for me i'm all in for it i'm gonna grab these carrot seeds while we're out too i'm gonna get these and we get a little bit more water and we're gonna head back and wrap up there so if you're new to our channel, again, we are a podcast first. We've been doing it since 2016. We love to talk about games and why we like them. We love to tell you about things happening around the video games industry. We like to tell you about games that are coming out that we think that you would like and that we're super excited about. If that sounds like something you're into, we are live three nights a week on Twitch and YouTube. And if you're right here on YouTube, this is a perfect opportunity for me to remind you, like and subscribe. We bring all of our VODs over here uh, we do, again, we go live here. This is where all of our quick looks live. You get the best of the casual hour right here. We even have dedicated channels. You can go and listen to our podcast. You can watch our podcast. And if you do want to watch us play games live and engage with us, Mondays, I'm joined by my other colleague, Chase Kinnicky. And on Fridays, Johnny, our other co-host, joins me for some Let's Play style formatting. Deck builders, run-based games, shooters, etc. We play a little bit of everything. We're more variety streams. And on Wednesday, uh, we record our podcast live at 9 p.m. Central on Twitch and YouTube. And then we bring that to every podcast platform known to man Friday morning. So you can watch, listen, and hang out, whatever you want to do. We would love to have you join us for it. This has been a quick look at Lightyear Frontier. It's an early access, $25 on Steam, part of Game Pass and Xbox Games Preview. If you want to check it out, I think you should. And you should bring some friends with you because you can have four of you there. My name's been Bobby. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great time and play this game. Take care.